Today I am in the Blue Mountains Botanical Gardens and I am so excited to be here. It's a really beautiful botanical gardens and I was here uh, yesterday actually. Um, so I've already done a painting here but um, today I'm in a different spot and there's this beautiful little pond with lily pads that are in like almost every color. Um, well, you know, within reason, they're not blue. So I'm at this beautiful little spot where there's like a pond and these beautiful colorful lily pads with little yellow flowers on top of them. And um, yeah, it's just really beautiful. I have just set up and right now the time is 10.25. So actually by the time I start painting, it's gonna be 10.30. Let me show you guys the setup and the location and then we'll get into the painting. All right, so I got all my paints there, my uh, hardboard today, um, and this is the location. I think it's just beautiful. It's beautiful like every direction. Um, yeah, really pretty. But I'm gonna be painting facing this way. So I think that's just gorgeous. All right, let's get into the painting. All right, so here we go with the time lapse. So I've just oiled my board and now I'm doing my drawing up and I'm actually working on hardboard today. I don't really like hardboard that much, but I have a lot of it left over, so I need to use it up somehow. I much prefer plywood. But anyway, I'm just throwing in my sky color right now and uh, trying to blend that across as best as I can and also throwing in a color for the water. Now this pond had a lot of colors in it, which was really nice. Um, however, it is very difficult to blend colors and, and make them all sit nicely on hardboard because hardboard just wants to absorb everything that gets put on it. I know I should probably prime it, but I didn't. So yeah, it just eats the paint. Um, so I'm just adding in a heap of colors and trying to make my water look good. And I'm also throwing in couple of spots of where the lily pads are going to go and some marks where my rocks are going to go and now I'm going over those rocks and adding some highlight colors to those and um, now I'm just going ahead and filling in the side of the canvas where the where the path is however I will be changing that section later um, so don't pay too much attention to it <laughs> um, and uh, yeah I'm just throwing in some dark colors on the other side behind where my plants are going to go and yeah just trying to fill in a lot of the board with paint however I didn't fill in the whole thing like I usually would um, because I was a little bit distracted so now I've just jumped on to adding in the treetops that are going into the sky and adding leaves onto some of those trees as well as just the branches and trying to fill it out and make it look a bit more realistic um, and I'm working on this section of the painting because I really needed to get a move on and I was like, okay, I just, I don't have time to be mucking around trying to fill in colors. I need to actually get stuff done. Um, so yeah, I just started working on making sure that all of the trees and bushes were sitting in their place and I'm working from the back forward and the painting is really not close to finished at this stage, as you guys can see. And yeah, with the time pressure, and working on hardboard, I really felt the need to hurry. I'm feeling really happy about these background trees and I did just use a really tiny fan brush to fill in most of the leafy kind of bushy details in them. So up close, they're all just little dots and um, yeah, they, they look really successful though from a distance and I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going through and making sure that I'm working my way from the back to the front and happy with these plants that I'm putting in back here because they are not going to change. They are the final plants for this painting. Um, and I felt a lot better about having some of the painting fully complete because it was quite a way away from being fully completed. So as you can see, I just blocked in my dark color for the rest of the section that's going behind the main trees. And I'm just putting in some rocks uh, underneath where the sort of end of the pond is and like near the trees and uh, yeah just going through and adding some little grassy bits that are coming out of the water and now I'm blobbing on a green color and that's going behind the trees and that's because I wanted to make it look as if there was plants back there 
but I did not have time to be painting in plants back there. So now I'm painting my plants that go in front of that. I also did just add my rocks into the foreground. Um, so you probably noticed that and I ran out of time to commentate on that um, while watching at the same time. And uh, now I'm adding in a little ferny kind of plant. And there was a lot of variety of trees and plants. So I'm adding some more plants and trees that are even further forward and... Yeah, it was it was a lot to try and keep up with. So I'm glad that I put just a just a kind of blobby green in the background because there was enough trees and stuff for me to paint that I could have even spent longer, but I didn't have longer to spend. So I just had to go fairly quickly. And um, thankfully, actually, there was a lot of variety in the trees here. So just the contrast in colors and and shapes of leaves helped me to separate all of the different plants from each other. Um, now I'm just adding in the ferns. So there's a few ferns. There's some that are growing out of rocks and then there's a big one that's kind of like on a stem. So I'm working on the big one that's on a stem right now and adding detail to the stem and now some highlight colors to the leaves on that one. And um, yeah, that was one of the closest trees in this painting. And now I'm going through and putting in the little ferns that go in amongst the rocks. And there was quite a few of those. I really loved the plants in this area. It was it was really a pretty area. Um, and yeah, now I'm adding a few highlights to my grass that's coming out of the water. And also to my rocks. They had kind of like a green moss growing on them. Uh, so I've put that in, as you can see. It just makes them stand out. It looked nice. And I'm putting some more highlights onto my grass that's growing out of the water and some shadows underneath my rocks and I'm pretty happy with how this has come along. I'm also just adding in some reflections to try and really capture the moment. All right so I've got about an hour left and I have not done any of the lily pads basically and also the left hand side of the painting uh, sort of isn't looking that great. So what I'm thinking is there's trees over here. I'm going to take one of those trees and throw them in here to kind of hide this part of the painting and then I just need to put in the lily pads. Um, it's really a race against time now so I need to hurry. Okay so remember I said don't pay much attention to the path that I put in? This is precisely why because I'm covering the whole thing with a big tree and uh, yeah lots of leaves and stuff because I wasn't happy with it and what's the best way to cover it? With a tree! Um, so yeah, there, there was a tree over further. It's just that I may have replanted it. Um, and so now I'm adding some rocks down the bottom of that just to really cover up that area. And also I think it helps to draw attention to the subject a bit better. So now I'm going through and adding in my lily pads. And I wish I had had a bit more time for this because I had to do this in such a hurry. There was a lot of different colors of lily pads. There's red, there's orange, there's green, there's like all the different shades in between that and then each of them have like yellow flowers on them so i did them with my palette knife and really close up they're kind of just blobs of paint um so yeah you can see i'm going through and putting on little stems on all of my lily pads and i'm doing that just before i add in all the little yellow flowers and i was trying to do it as quickly as i could because the botanic gardens was very close to closing and actually right in the last little bit of me being there uh, there was a person going around on their little botanic gardens vehicle saying like, okay, the botanic gardens is closing now. And I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't even packed up. So I was, I was really starting to, to panic a bit. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm working as quick as I can and just popping in all these little yellow flowers. And actually it's turned out quite nice. So I'm really happy with this and I'm just finishing up the last details. And this is my completed painting. All right, guys, so the time is now 4.40, which means I have 20 minutes to pack up and get out of here. And this painting took me six hours and 10 minutes and I really need to get out before the gate closes. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the painting and then I'm going to run. All right, here we have it. Here's the finished painting. Let's go in and take a closer look. So we've got a lot of different trees happening and uh, obviously I've thrown this tree in on the side to try and hide what was there and rocks and plants and water and these lily pads, I would have loved to have spent more time on them. 
Uh, however, I didn't have more time to spend, so I just kind of slapped them on the canvas with a palette knife, and they are really thick blobs of paint, but I feel like they work and uh, it helps to portray the actual texture of them sitting on the water surface. And then we have a whole heap of different plants all throughout this section of the painting, and that's basically the whole thing, so I'm really happy with that. Here's a photo of my completed painting of the Blue Mountains Botanical Gardens, and I loved the lily pads. They were just such a feature to this painting, and in real life, just the colours in them were so beautiful, and I do feel like I managed to capture those colours, which I'm really happy about. And I also really liked this botanical gardens for its variety of plants. And just in this picture, you can see so many different types of trees and um, yeah, I thought it was a really interesting landscape. And I am very happy about my decision of moving the bush that was on the side over to cover the path. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.